Now, the first component that we're going to talk about that changes the way that electricity flows in a circuit, and one of the simplest to understand is the resistor. A resistor does exactly what it sounds like. It resists, it resists electricity. It resists the flow of electricity. So, resists, resists flow. And what this does is it is the cornerstone of understanding how voltage and current are related. The symbol for a resistor, as we showed before, is this little jagged line. Resistors will have some resistance R, and that resistance is measured in units of ohms. And the symbol for that, the symbol for ohms is a capital omega. And the larger the ohms, the larger the resistance, the greater the, the, the component, the resistor, resists flow. The smaller the resistance, the less it resists flow. And there are two edge cases of this. A resistor with infinite resistance is the equivalent of a line break, a break in the line. So this is a resistor where the resistance is an infinite number of ohms, right? There's no connection between these two. So no matter how much you push here, well, current will never flow, electricity will never flow. And then there's another equivalent, which is the exact opposite. So this we, this we call this an open, if you wanted to, if you want the, uh, if you want the, uh, the understanding from the terms. And then what we have here is a straight line, no resistance at all. This happens when the resistance is equal to zero, zero ohms. And we call this a short because there's no resistance to flow and, and as much current can flow, electricity, as much electricity can flow through this line as possible without being impeded at all. Now there's a nice water analogy to the idea of resistance. And that is a narrowing of the pipe. And let's say you have a pipe and in some section it gets narrower. That narrowing is mathematically equivalent if you were to model the flow, the change in flow and the change in pressure to a resistor. So this, side, this area right here has the same exact mathematical properties. Uh, on how it changes the water pressure and the flow rate of water as a resistor does on the rate of a flow through, through it and the voltage drop, the voltage change before and after. And so the high level intuition to think about this, right, is the narrower this gap is, then the more there's going to be a difference in water pressure before and after the component, right? If this is fully sealed off, as in the case of an open, then the voltage pressure can be very, very large here, or the, vo the water pressure can be large here, and it will be nothing here because there's no communication. Similarly, if this is just a straight pipe and there's no narrowing at all, then there will be no change in pressure between here and the and things will just flow straight through. That would be a short. You can also think about how the impact to water flow is. The narrower this is for a fixed voltage, you are going to get less and less water molecules through. And the wider this is for a fixed water pressure, the more water will flow through per time. And so you can see there's actually a relationship here between the value of the resistance, the voltage, and the current. And this is one of perhaps the most famous equations in circuits, which is Ohm's law, which states that the voltage 
is proportional to the current by exactly the factor R. And this is a really nice property because it embodies all of the intuition we just talked about. The higher the resistance for a fixed voltage will mean that you get the decreased current flow. For an increase in voltage for a fixed resistance, you will get an increase in current flow. And that's the basics. So if we were to then write out what the circuit diagram would look like if we were to take a voltage source, a battery, and connect it to a resistor. Then we could describe the, the components of voltage, current, and resistance in this very, very simple model. And so we have current flowing, we have a voltage, and we have a resistor. And in steady state, because this is a fixed voltage, we would see a fixed current flow through the resistor, and that would be the circuit. This is the basics of understanding a resistor, what it means to have a particular resistance, and how the water analogy of narrowing a pipe helps us understand what a resistance, what a resistor does.